The PIAL has issued its ruling following last week's brawl between the Clareton and Manesson boys basketball teams. Both school districts are now on probation for the next five years, and that's not all. David Highfield has more on today's decision. David. Susan and Ken, you know, both Clareton and Manesson feared that they could be barred from the playoffs. Now, that did not happen. Just the same, the WPIAL board did come up with a list of rather strong penalties, and some of the parents I talked to tonight, well, they don't like it. The Manesson boys basketball team took the court against North Catholic hours after the WPIAL announced the punishments. The penalties stem from this fight during a game at Clareton last week, and some Manesson parents tell me they don't think the punishment is fair. I think the five years is, is a long time, and it's very harsh. Uh, that was their territory. It was kind of their job to protect us, their, their security, their referees. They should have had control of that game. Well, we didn't start it. They started it. After a lengthy meeting, the WPIAL did something it's never done before, a five-year probation for all sports at both schools. If there's a violation, that sport is ineligible for the playoffs that season. In addition to that, both schools must initiate a sportsmanship program with consequences for bad behavior. Clareton must play all home varsity boys games at 4 p.m. for the next two years. There will be one one game suspensions for players on the bench who got up and got involved in the fight. And no tickets will be sold at the gates for playoff games involving Clareton or Manesson. Instead, each school will get 30 tickets to pre sell to players' parents, plus some tickets for administrators. The board took very seriously the significance of the uh, currents the other night. It was uncalled for. Certainly, there's no place for it in athletics, and they felt very strongly about it. The coach for Manesson says he'll honor the Whippeal decision, but. I do feel bad for some of the kids who were on our bench when, to be honest with you, we had nowhere to go. I mean, we're, if you didn't leave the bench, then you was going to get caught up into that stuff. So, but. I mean, it, like I said, it is what it is. He says he's relieved both teams weren't banned from the playoffs, which apparently was discussed by the board. But it was discussed whether they wouldn't even be in the playoffs at all. Absolutely, it was discussed. Are these schools lucky that the board didn't decide that? Well, you know, these are two very proud schools. Uh, they're two very uh, good administrative teams, well intended, didn't want for this to happen. And I think the, the board took that into account. Well, Manesson was awarded a win for that game, even though the fight cut the game short and they couldn't actually complete it. The Whippeal board erased that win tonight, now calling that game no contest. Both districts do have the right to challenge the Whippeal decision. We're live tonight. David Highfield, KDKA TV News.